Greetings Greaseheads. Now welcome back to another video. And today I will be going through New Nile Hair Slick Dressing Pomade. Now this pomade has a really um, nice history to it that nobody actually knows about. But I figured it out myself going through old photos of this particular pomade. Now, I'll be doing a review first. And after review, I'll be telling you all a couple of facts about it and slightly about its history. Now, the scent of it is kind of like a typical lavender baby powder or barbershop powder, just with a slight metallic kind of scent to it. It's not overbearing, it's not so powerful, but it is nevertheless kind of an old school kind of scent. Most old school pomades have a powder kind of scent to it. Looking inside it, you would have a very um, waxy looking, slightly greasy looking, mostly waxy, medium kind of pomade or heavy. Scooping it out, you need a little pressure to it. I normally use a small scoop at a time and build it up through small scoops once I apply this. I mean, when I first used it, I made the mistake of using a huge finger scoop all at once and then applying it. That'll just be way too heavy for your hair. You'll get a lot of, a lot of tug and pull. And you need to rub in your hands first to melt the pomade. It has quite a little sticky feeling to it. It's quite greasy, mostly waxy. And you would really feel some resistance applying this into your hair. Take another little scoop. For my sides and back. You're beginning to see some kind of nice shine over here. It is not very high, but it's something a little beyond medium. But when it sets, it'll give you a medium shine. It's um, a cross between a greasy shine and a healthy shine, which I actually like. Um, you know, that forest like kind of shine, that's the greasy element to it, but it kind of makes your hair glow a little bit in a healthy way. Um, a nice medium shine, it's not too crazy, it's not too high, but it's obviously not matter low either, it's just somewhere in between, and it's great. It just makes your hair look like it's really healthy and in shape. Now slicking through this pomade, you would feel a little bit of resistance to it, but not so much tug and pull. It is easier to apply than I expected. However, um, it's a little heavier than I expected. When I used too much of it the first time I tried this pomade out, when I um, put too much in one finger scoop at once, it has a really heavy feeling to it, almost similar to Dax Wave and Groom, but when I learned to actually use a small finger scoop at a time, it actually feels a lot better. So my advice is just to build it up through small scoops. Don't put one whole scoop in one time. It'll just um, not feel very comfortable. It's hold, really nice hold. It's um, a me medium heavy, somewhere between medium and heavy. You have a waxy feel in your hair that's not too weighted down, as long as you don't use too much of it. Just like what the pomade says on its tin, hair slick dressing pomade. This pomade has a pretty decent slickness to it, it keeps my hair stuck together as in I get I don't really get flyaways with this. It, it can really tame my fly well, flyaways well. It has a decent slickness to it. 
However, my problem with Slick on its cover, on the lid of the tin, is that it makes people think that it's somewhat of a light pomade with crazy amounts of shine due to the word Slick, but no, really, it is actually a medium heavy waxy pomade that is slightly um, shiny, a, a medium shine, not too much of a crazy slick greasy shine. So it is not really much of a light pomade as it, some people may lead to think it is due to what it says on the cover. I need to apply a little more to the sides of my hair. So yes, little by little, work your way through. Don't rush in, folks. And talking about the buildup of this pomade, um, to be honest, for my hair type, which is actually fine and quite thin, it has a relatively heavy buildup. It can't really stand any more than two days. However, if you're going through a buildup schedule where you um, apply a heavy pomade through the start of the week and then a lighter pomade towards the end of the week, this is really great for you because you get a lot of the hold from the first day. And um, on the second day and so on and so forth, you still get a really great hold from this pomade. It has a really good hold and it tames your hair altogether. Washing it out, I kind of have an issue with it. With regular shampoo, it takes me about four or five washes to get it out. That's why um, when I first tried washing it, even after four washes, I couldn't get it completely out. That I eventually gave up. And the next day, I threw some hair cream onto it, some kind of brill cream like thing and ate away through the buildup and it was a lot less of a pain in the ass to wash out that evening. Now, this product is not as difficult to wash as Murray Superior, I should assume, but it's still, um, you still kind of have to work hard to get it out of your hair completely. I'm styling my hair straight out of the shower right now, which is why it's not really cooperating as it normally would. It's best when I just wake up in the morning. Alright, I am back. So, my hair is being very uncooperative today, which is why I actually sped up the video. But as you can see now, it has a really um, nice shine to it. Um, this video is probably making it look shinier than it actually is. Maybe it's because of the lighting. Um, the bathroom lighting is pretty low up here, so it shows more shine than it should, but it gives a really um, nice medium high shine, and when it sets, it's just a really um, nice in between medium kind of shine. And so, my final verdict on this, you should really get it, especially if you um, are a fan of old school pomades or if you want to add something to your collection, this looks really great in your collection. And now, I'm going to go into its history. And this is something interesting because I tried researching about it, but I pretty much get almost no results. Um, what everyone knows about New Nile I mean, pomade enthusiasts, what they know about New Nile was that it was used by the Stray Cats. It was the choice of Brian Setzer. And it may be manufactured in Murray's right now, but it is obviously not a Murray's original product. In fact, it was first manufactured by Peerless Products from New Jersey. 
Now, um, new now was actually a line of hair products under Peerless Products, consisting of a pressing cream for women and the Big Four hair dressing. Now, the Big Four hair dressing that is pretty interesting because I actually think that it is the ancestor, the predecessor of what we know today as new now hair slick dressing pomade. Now, the Big Four hair dressing comes in a huge tin. It is six ounces and it has the exact same ingredients as Murray Superior, petrolatum, mineral oil, and fragrance. Since ever Murray's purchased the new null line from the Peerless Products Company after I think it lost money or something, it is a dead company by now. The change of ingredients consist of petrolatum, microcrystalline wax, and fragrance. That's the new formula for new null. Hair is like dressing pomade, unlike the original Big Four, which has a sim which has similar ingredients to Murray Superior. And looking at the evolution of the tins, it is really interesting because it started out in the black, red, and white tin, and eventually came in the school bus yellow tins. I think probably around the late, I'm sorry, maybe the early or mid '60s by the artwork and design of the tin. I assume that Murray's had purchased New Nile in the 1970s. Just take a look at the artwork. It has a very um, 70s feel to it. And in 1988, in May 1988, it was featured in Ebony Magazine with Murray's Excellento as this is the misleading part. It was being advertised as a light pomade now, they were right about Murray's Excellento being a light pomade. To be exact, it's a light medium. However, New Nile is in no way a light pomade. It is a medium heavy. So, the fact that it survived until today means that it's a very reputable product that has been used and favored by many generations. And I'm glad that New Nile is here to stay with the Murray's company for us in this current generation to use and enjoy it. Now, stay tuned for my next video, stay greasy.